is mine, all others pay cash is an Indonesian black comedy action drama directed by Edwin. The film is an adaptation of Eka Kurniawan's best-selling book with the same name. It tells the story of Ajo Kawir, a young man who became impotent after witnessing violence when he was a child. As an adult, Ajo falls deeply in love with Iteng, played by Ladia Sheryl, but their love story is filled with turmoil that roots from Kawir's inability to make love to his wife Iteng. But the story is so much more than just a love story. And to celebrate the film's premiere for the public today, we speak with two of the actors, Ladia Sheryl in New York and Reza Rahadian in Jakarta. Hi, guys. Morning, guys. Morning. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us from uh, two different continents. <laughs> Congratulations on the premiere of your movie today. Yay. So how do you feel about the fact that Indonesian audiences will finally get to see the film that had won the Golden Leopard in the Locarno International Film Festival. Maybe starting from Ladia and then Reza. Oh, uh, I'm sad because I couldn't go, but I'm so happy. I was, I was so happy at the time. I, I saw Re uh, Reza, Edwin, the team, when they be able to went to attend. Mm. Um, and I, I really didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't, it was shock. <laughs> <laughs> He's overwhelmed. <laughs> what about you, Reza? Yeah, first of all, I think I'm very excited uh, for the film. Um, you seem like an audience right away. Um, and then, can't wait to see their reaction, actually. That's the, main, that's the most important thing, you know, to, to see their reaction, to, to know what their response to the film, mm. um, regarding the issues of the film and the content of the film itself, what the, what the film is speaks about. I think that's very important for, for our people, Indonesian uh, mm. audience, to see this kind of film. Mm. Because you don't see, you don't really see this kind of film in a, a year or no. in the past you know, five or a decade. Mm. So I think it's very, it's very important. I think the message of the film, the issue that the film brought, um, is very, very relevant today and very important. Well, let's talk about that issue. Uh, this toxic masculinity is yes. basically the underlying uh, theme of this film. Um, first of all, Reza, maybe you can enlighten us. How did the crowds or spectators react? Uh, when they saw this movie overseas abroad, and how do you think they'll react perhaps differently here in Indonesia? <laughs> well, we just, we just had a premiere in Jav, uh, the Asian Film Festival. Right. That was very funny. <laughs> um, we had a QA and mm. and everybody's just, they, they were facing the film, they say, oh, it's a good film, nice, um, well done. But when it comes to a QA session, they're all silent. They don't even want to ask. Like, okay, is the film is that bad, or is, is it a good sign, or, or how, 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 how should we respond to this? But yeah, I mean, speaking of the issues about toxic masculinity, is one of the, the characters that I play is having that kind of issue. You know how the society is pressuring him, how the background of his family is pressuring him to become a man that thinks, oh. We can say that you're a man if you're this and that. Mm -hmm. It's basically social, social pressure, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it's happening today in Indonesia. There's a lot of people are trying to portray, oh, if you're a man, you don't have to cry, you don't do this, you don't right. do that. Mm -hmm. You have to be this kind of macho. Um, I think it's, well, it's in the movie, you know, you can see from the character itself. So I think that's really, really important to talk about, mm. to discuss. I think it can open a discussion for other people um, to really speak about it, talk about it mm -hmm. after seeing the movie. I think that would be the first response. Of course, there's violence, there is sex in it, and, but, but it all, it all matched the, the story. So we don't, we don't do it just for a matter of, oh, let's, Put this and that, put this element, put that element, so right. you can sell the movie even better. It's not that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very organic. It's just a really important thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, Reza, you also you mentioned earlier uh, about the reaction from the audiences in Jogja, right? So, Ladia, mm. uh, obviously audiences uh, tend to have different takeaways from the film. Some say that violence, you know, like the takeaways that they get from the movie is that violence kills the humanity in humans. What is your takeaway of the film, Ladia, as an actor and as someone who's playing this character, Itang, and who knows the whole story? Is there, but actually, to be honest, I haven't seen the movie in complete, um... Ah. If it's final uh, form. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, because, because uh, last time I, when I saw the movie, the music wasn't completed. Mm. And, uh, because I need to do the, I need to do the ADR, the dubbing. Yes, yes. Uh, so I haven't. I haven't really seen the complete film of the music, but overall the story, why I took this movie, I took this movie, is because the love story and how it, how, it, even in this kind of like a cruel world, they, they're just trying to survive and that's how I, how, I experience most of the time, even I mean, mm -hmm. in different um, in different ways of mm -hmm. like you know um, uh, in different life and different way of like how you um, uh, deal with your everyday life. Mm. But that's the that's what I like about this movie that is so, so real, and I'm I'm close with I'm very close with the world mm. in this movie. You are very close with uh, with the world in this movie. Yes, you play the lead yeah. female character Itam, right? So who is Itang and what was your process in embodying and creating this character? Itang is she's everyone knows that she's very skillful, she's a fighter, she's um, very independent. She's a professional bodyguard. Um, <laughs> she's a she's a she she doesn't like to wait. She, if she can do it herself, then she would do it. She's a woman of action. She mm. like fear doesn't exist for her. Right. And but also she has like child trauma, like in this. And um, yeah, I think that's all. I think. <laughs> and. The second question, Marisa, yes. is how did I prepare? Yes, okay. yes. How do uh, you, how, what was your process in embodying and creating this character? First of all, this is my first action film. Mm. And we prepared the pre-production for when I, when I did the pre-production was less than um, two months. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I did train myself uh, when I was in New York. Then I went back to Indonesia early January, mm -hmm. like January 1st, uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. And we practice um, five days a week yes. from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. most of the time, like, yeah. Sometimes 6 p.m. Mm. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly paid off. We're watching. We're, well, by the way, you might not be able to see this, but we're watching some of the clips and uh, some of the fighting scenes there as well. So yeah. it's obviously all that training paid off. Uh, Reza, I'm going to go to you for a minute. Uh, have you read the book before you uh, you guys shot the movie? Is there 
What are the differences, and I guess one of my questions, what are the differences and similarities for yeah. those that perhaps have read the book and are looking forward to see the movie? Mm. Well, the book sets very, um, it's the, the way the, the narrative told is back and forth. Okay. So it's quite difficult to portray that in the movie, so Edwin took a very, um, he was a very, really, and really decision to just make it more linear. Yes. So, um, so it's, it's easier for the audience to, to tell the story, mm. to know which one is the flashback, which one is the, the real time story. Right. Um, that was Edwin's decision. Also, um, after discussing it with uh, Eka Puniawan. So mm. that's, that's the that's the main part. But about the story, um, of course, there's a adjustment. I can say because mm. not every everything is uh, in the in the story or something that in the story not to see in the movie. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of parts mm. that we don't really portray that, or maybe portray that in a very symbolic. Um, that's the right way. Mm -hmm. So it's not really, yeah, it's, that's how it is. You know, you, yeah. you, cannot, you just can't um, portray the whole novel into a movie. Right. It's, it's, it's no. very difficult. Yeah, absolutely. That's how I didn't, that's Reza, how I didn't do it. you play Budi Baik, right? Who is Budi Baik? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, is that literally what it means? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's actually total opposite, but I'm sure Reza can, can tell you about it. So, who is Budi Baik and what was your process in embodying and creating this flamboyant and borderline yeah. annoying character? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, yeah, of course, Marisa, you, you've watched the film, right? Yes. Um, if, you, if you remember, like, I speak to. I speak to Edwin um, earlier when we do the rehearsal about how am I going to do the character, to, to, to develop the character. Mm. First of all, I was I was just keep looking on what type of pose, like poses <laughs> of, of men during that era, of flamboyant during the movie. So that would be the the, the basic, you know that. That would be the basic uh, thing that I would do. And also, mm. if you realize in the movie, I every time I see Ethan, I always stood up. Mm. Mm. You know, um, that would be the position. So I was uh, like, I'd lay down, and then after seeing Ethan somewhere, I would just <laughs> go straight up. Uh, that's symbolically, you know what I mean, and um, how I see Ethan. Yeah. Mm. And movie bike turns out. Um, a very manipulative guy. Mm. Very, very manipulative. Um, yeah, he's a uh, he's, he's always trying to control it without knowing, without knowing that Ethan is actually controlling him. Mm. All in Goody Bikes world. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, that, I think that's uh, the background of the character. What I do mm -mm. after rehearsal, of course, doing the reading and the choreography uh, rehearsals. I'm just thinking about how am I going to to do the character to to, to make it um, human, to make it human, to make it realistic. Because the language is very, I can say it's quite hard, mm. but I'm just lucky because I, I do a lot of theater, mm -hmm. so to elaborate with that kind of words. In language of that era or a very Indonesian mm. um, language, I think, yeah, it, it, it helps me a lot. Yeah, it's Getting interesting. It's uh, interesting that you mentioned about the language. Uh, Ladia, uh, I also noticed that all of the characters, uh, they speak in in uh, like Baku Indonesian. Oh, like you formal, know, like very formal. Very formal right. Indonesian. So yeah, what was what was the decision behind using very formal Indonesian? You know, like watching the film, it almost reminds me of watching films back in the 80s, Indonesian films back in the 80s, right? You know, you have that feeling. So Ladia, could you please elaborate on that a little? The process of using uh, it's, the, it's the language. The process of using uh, once I I I understand I don't. I, I probably grew up with uh, watching 
Indonesian films in the 80s, like late 80s, mm. like pretty much. And I'm, I'm, I'm used to listen to that kind of language, like the formal language. Mm. And it's not very, it's not very difficult with when we. It it was awkward at the beginning. Mm. When I listened to it, it was okay. But when you did it, when I did it, and I heard my partner did the same, it yeah. was awkward at the beginning. But <laughs> but <laughs> but I don't know. It just worked. And when I when I when we practice, I didn't feel. I feel just a little awkward. But after that. It was just flow, mm. Mm. and um, just trying to be to be present all the time. Like every time I say, I said it. Mm. I said my line. Mm -hmm. Just being present, and you forget about all the formality. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's like when you watch the film pause, yeah. it's gonna be really interesting because you moved to Indonesia in 2001. What year? I'm going to have such a hard time keeping yeah, up with the language. Yeah, sure. it's just so like, oh my god, this brings me back to yeah. the 80s. Right. It was so great. Okay, so one last thing from you guys uh, to each of you, perhaps uh, invite people to come out and see this film, and perhaps why they would be uh, they would be interested in seeing it. Maybe start with Ladia first. Yeah. Oh, this is a film that you won't forget easily, even though I haven't watched the complete film. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is a film, yeah, that you won't forget, and it has memories. Okay. From, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Reza? Yeah, let's just celebrate. If you want to see an Indonesian film with a bunch of different genre in the movie. <laughs> one movie. Seven so, genres in one. <laughs> um, in the cinema, um, you can see action, you can see the drama, you can see a very unique love story, you can see um, comedy, mm -hmm. perhaps. Um, yeah, go see it. It's fun. And uh, by the way, the uh, I love this, uh, t uh, t these time period type of uh, films where yeah. Everything from the costumes and the properties, <laughs> everything is kind of yeah, a little back. So. <laughs> yeah, 80s is back. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. Congratulations <laughs> once again. I just want to say congratulations on your Galaxy Travel. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Reza. Congratulations. Thank you so much, uh, Claudia. Thank you. And thank you for organizing you. it. Thank it's such all. a beautiful event. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was Reza <laughs> organizing everything <laughs> for this team. <laughs> All right, thanks, I guys. I miss you, Reza. Yes. Yeah, I miss you a lot. Aww. Please take care. Yeah, to be honest, I couldn't hear Reza's voice. Uh, oh. Well, he's saying he that says he misses that you. He misses you. <laughs> yeah, you guys aren't necessarily oh, connected to audio. I miss you too, Budi, Reza, whatever your name is. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Stay healthy, guys. Congratulations again on the premiere yes. of the movie today. Oh my, Can't wait to watch Bye, the film. Bye, stay healthy. Thank Bye. You. Thank